As vaccinations around our area slow down, Five on Your Side investigators took a hard look at 10 Northeast Ohio school districts. We started examining staff vaccinations, but along the way, we also found a unique program that's definitely helped one local school district. Here's investigator Jonathan Walsh. We know that um, our children, if it spreads in school, it's very, very dangerous to take home. Superintendent Jeff Graham at Lorraine Schools and Assistant Super Ross May received a lot of help in the fight against COVID from an anonymous donor. $200,000 plus relief money from the city. The support was incredible. We, it's, it was a game changer. They used that money to offer free COVID testing to students and staff, the only public district in our area to do so. And Jeff says he only knows of one other public district in the country that's offered the tests at no charge. Some folks were skeptical, um, so we weren't exactly sure what we're using the data for, so we made sure that we were very clear uh, that the, the data that we were using was for us to make sure we were keeping people safe. The district and its health partners kept it safe, reporting no COVID spread inside schools, despite a 20% positivity rate in Lorain County at the time. The testing worked, and that helped staff trust the district's plans for COVID shots. So the vaccination then kind of stood on top of all of those layers of foundation already built. Lorraine came out on top of our study, looking into 10 area school districts for staff COVID vaccination rates, 93.2 percent. We've been talking COVID safety and we're going to do everything we can to keep you safe. Here are the lowest percentages of participation in our study, keeping in mind some staff members got shots on their own and not through their district's clinics. Parma reported 70 percent of its staff vaccinated, Akron 71.8 percent, Canton, 72 percent. At this point, we're not mandating that, and that, you know, it's again, it's, it's their decision. Jason Dixon is the assistant superintendent for Canton City Schools. He tells us he'd like to get more staff vaccinated. Those people that are still were on the fence and undecided, you know, the hopes is that sooner or later they will, you know, decide that that's what they wanted, would like to do and get vaccinated. Jason tells us with the help of the vaccines, the number of isolations and quarantines for the Bulldogs in Canton have gone from 1,000 at the end of last year now all the way down to just below 500. From A to Z, everybody stepped up to the plate and really, really took this serious. That being said, Canton at a 72% vaccination rate is on the lower end of the districts we evaluated. The school system plans on more vaccination opportunities this summer. The health department meetings, I'm on the phone with them daily, every other day. And so they keep us up to date with information on updated clinics and when and where. Now, in the coming months, districts will prepare for a whole new fall term. Don't let up. You know, continuing to do our due diligence um, and making sure we're updated and, and you know, um, and have the most latest and greatest information. Our full expectation is next year is a normal year. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Uh, excited. Where we can start to put COVID, you know, itself in the rearview mirror, but take some of those good practices and continue to apply them going forward. I'm Five on Your Side investigator, Jonathan Walsh. Okay, so at this point, the state of Ohio is not requiring vaccinations for school staff, but it highly encourages the shots. So for more information about our research into this story, just check out our News 5 app. Demand for the